cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, everybody's cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we promote local agriculture and local business, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we cooking, we support local fishermen and local Greetings. Welcome again to We Cooking Eclectic Vinci Cuisine. <laughs> I'm here at the Bush Bar with my good sister and Zen. Greetings. Yeah, today is a very, very special day. She welcomed us in this beautiful place. So we're going to get to see what Zen does on the regular at the Bush Bar right here on We Cooking Eclectic Vinci Cuisine. The culinary arts program which supports your local agricultural food producers and your marine food producers. So Zen. Greetings. Tell us what you're going to make for us today. <laughs> well, welcome everybody to the Bush Bar. Today we cook in some tanias and some mm -hmm. coconut milk. We got some turmeric and ginger going down inside of it. We got some red lentils. We're going to be bubbling up with some herbs. Yeah, well, Zen, you got to tell our audience too that <laughs> all this food is from right here in your right garden. Right from the yard, right from the yard. Except for the red lentils. Yeah. We got those at Graves Supermarket down the road. Yeah, man, that's that's great. And um, this is... Uh, Tanya. This is the Tanya that you harvest. It's a you... member of the Taro family. Yeah, tell us a little more about that. So, I like to cook him up. I just like to scrape him before instead of peeling and taking away all the nutrition. Mm -hmm. We scrape pretty much everything. I scrape my tanyas, the gal, the ginger, sorry, and the turmeric. Mm -hmm. Turmeric have another name here too, right? Yeah, they Folks call, call it, it saffron here. Yeah, I see you just dug up some. Yeah, from this is fresh out the land. It's one of the main ingredients in the curry. Yeah, so, I, I love to use it in my cooking and I, I really put it mostly because of rust. You know, um, I, I know that saffron is good uh, anti-carcinogenic and it's also good for the man um, to to help prevent prostate cancer yes, yes. you know it prevents a lot of stuff and um, I you you were telling us a story about a cut that you yeah, had I had a time. cut in my hand this, I grated up really small on the grater on the finest part and then I put the juice on any wounds any cuts mm -hmm. And then it heals in like one two days it just heals up so amazingly i mean i always i also drink it a lot and have it in my diet so that's probably helps too to heal quick but i recommend it to anybody that has a cut to use some turmeric on yeah you have everything around you you know really nice everything we're really blessed so, up here um th this i know is going in the the pot also yeah, tell us this about this sweet plant. Leaf. it's an amazing it's one of the most protein rich plants in the plant kingdom mm -hmm. what's the name you said sweet, sweet leaf but i heard it called by another name is that people say stevia uh -huh. stevia. but um i think it's stevia family. that's what i heard that's what i heard yeah uh -huh. yeah yeah so tell us some more about it what are the nutritional properties of the stevia it's, well, I wouldn't call him Stevie. I call okay. him Sweet Leaf, because I'm not too okay. sure if he's Stevia. Okay. I think they're family. Okay, so Sweet Leaf. What, yeah, what, a lot what of protein, a lot of iron, a lot of vitamins in this fella. I mean, if you don't eat meat, this is what we pretty much pack in our diet. Very nice. I blend them up in this smoothie, or I eat them raw in salads. It's mm -hmm. quite nice. It has a nice little sweet bite to it. Nice. And we also got some... Tulsi, so holy yeah. basil from the garden. Mm -hmm. He grows in abundance, and some yeah. Genovese basil. Yeah. These are nice. sweet up the stuff. red lentils. Yeah, we got some nice thyme here, fresh from the yard, mm -hmm. and some moringa, which we put in our salad. Good, and some chives. Oh, man, I see you have all these beautiful. Yeah, peppers we're gonna make up some pepper sauce. Here too. Mm. We got loads of different varieties of peppers. Those are really hot. But they yeah. make a nice yummy sauce. Mm -hmm. Real nice, man. So Zen, how long you been doing this at the Bush Bar? Wow, we've been here since 2009. Okay. For a bit of a secret. Um, when a I say nice, secret... Nice secret. Yeah, it's, it's a little hidden gem on the island. I don't advertise. I just pretty much play it by air. I live here around and I rent out bungalows. So it's pretty much like camping. This is, this is what I love about we cooking discovering places like 
the bush bar and and wanting to support uh, a bush bar because this is a local enterprise this is, young lady was born here this is her home this is her business and she's doing um, the permaculture sustainable living and that is what we we love on we cook in this yes. is what we try to support on we cook in so it's really a pleasure for me to be here with you Thank right you. now it's a pleasure it, to have you I, I'm, I'm very grateful i i love it's a learning experience you know going and seeing you digging up your saffron it's inspiring because yeah uh, i'm an aspiring farmer and food producer so it's always nice for me to see uh what can be done on the land the potential of utilizing the blessings around you like this you yeah, know so it's really a blessing and it's an amazing island we live on saint vincent everything grows here you know i love I it i throw stuff out my kitchen window and seeds just pop out then i transplant them out into the garden you know? yeah that's that's the beauty it's about, amazing um appreciate loving what you have around you and yeah. utilizing it to, to maximize so I see you had a fire going too right yes so are we you utilizing I bought a yaba pot nice. you know so you're gonna use the yaba or your own yes pot? yes we're okay. gonna put the tanyas to bubble down in the coconut milk okay grate I, up some turmeric and some ginger to go along with it not to insult my audience but I'm pretty sure most people who watch we cook it know what a yaba pot is uh, but for those who don't know yaba is a uh, it's it's just a clay pot it's a pot made of clay and the island that's really famous for this style of pottery is St. Lucia and yeah. big up to St. Lucia because this Lego pot here came from there and I've had it for many years now and treasure it you know so I'm sharing that with you right now and Zen just put on a fire we're <laughs> going to put that pot on as soon as she finishes peeling up yeah well I'm scraping up yeah all my skins into my compost box which will go into my compost pile which in turn will go back into my garden. So we're just giving and then receiving, giving and receiving. And that's the cycle. That's, that's, that's the cycle. Like, yeah, that's the real real way to, to live. How our ancestors lived before we got mechanized yeah. and before we got into monocropping. Most people used to grow everything around in their garden, like how Zen has and it. no chemicals. Exactly. No chemicals. No, and, and using what, what you pull up to re-nourish the ground, the peel, the peelings and the scraping of your your veggies and so on become manure for the soil. So Even the weeds in your garden, when you weed them up, we don't throw them away, we just put them back mm -hmm. down into the earth to rot in. Yes, it's amazing. Yeah, well, so that that's what we like to do on We Cook In. Two islands and keys are waiting to be discovered. Take a look at us now. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Caribbean you're looking for. Our company is the Black Cake Company. We bake and sell traditional Caribbean rum cakes and black cakes. I'm originally from Barbados, and so my grandmother made the cakes, my mom did. We are committed to keeping a family and cultural tradition alive. Beat the holiday rush and use promo code BLACK2014 at blackcake.com to get one free miniature cake with each full-size cake order today. It's a must at every table for every celebration. CK Grace and Company is the number one.
My dad farmed, my mom farmed all her life. You know, they plant all sorts of different varieties of stuff. Loads of fruits, medicinal plants, a lot of veggies. But we mostly deal with fruits like avocados, breadfruit, bread nuts, citrus. Right. There's no special form of anything growing. Okay. You know, I mean, pineapple. Look at these guys growing here with the tanya coming out. Nice. And these flowers keep the pineapple shaded. Okay. So it's less weeding for me. Because I run this garden pretty much on my own. The stuff with the little purple flowers, what is that? Is that a thyme kind no, of a thyme? No, it's what just an it? ornamental flower. Ornamental, okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, you, you check how it's growing there, guys. Yeah. So that now you don't have to go and weed up your pineapple and it's not like a whole chunk of pineapple. There's just a few scattered around. Because yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's really tough weeding pineapple. Yeah. Yeah, the choke your tail off. Yes. And you see this cocoa is growing. Nice like, too. Yeah. This is, mm -hmm. See the baby cocoa on the little yeah. baby stage? You know, when we were younger as Rasta, we used to use the little cocoa to, uh, to make um, soap, like a, like a shampoo. Ooh. You, you yeah. just grate yeah, it yeah, and yeah. make a nice shampoo with that, you know? I see that man doing it by yeah. the river. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like the prickle pear. Yeah. Smash that. Nice. Um, yeah. I got everybody mixed up, growing together. Hmm. It's all about a little togetherness, you know? I use all my old magazines and newspapers to mulch. Okay. So it's less mulch? weeding. Break um, broken down as yeah. a breakdown. Like, you share down with the grass, you cut them and just let them lie on it. So, so there's no earth growing. Broke down and becomes manure. It makes manual. more worms, so there's more life and then more insects come and then plants just love that. Um, these guys I also use in the pot. Oh yeah, like watercress, The right? purslane. Purslane, right. Yeah, they're full of omega-3, 6 and 9. I think I'll take some yeah. too. I fry these up with eggs oh, and toast. Nice. You know, they're really nice. These are bananas and plantains. I'll go in behind it and have a whole bunch so of much. coconuts you recently planted. Coffee? coffee? Like coffee? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So these are little. What are these? Some... Yeah, yeah they're right? seeds, the beans. Yeah. So these guys don't bear and grow back up. And if you notice, you know, none of it's properly weeded and maintained. You know, we just let them grow because most of the stuff growing around them we use. Because you're doing permaculture. Yes. Wow. You got a bashi? Here. So, yeah, these guys have kind of got old and went back start growing again. Can you see the bashi? We just finishing up the pot here. Made some lovely tanya cooked down in some coconut milk with some ginger and some turmeric. And then here we have some lovely red lentils which aren't really red right now. But they're all done, cooked up, ready to be eaten up. And right here is a tulsi that I picked in the garden earlier. I'm going to put out on the fire and make some tea. And me and Empress are going to sit down and enjoy. Some of our local cucumbers there from our garden, Empress. Wow, Zen, this is just absolutely amazing. The ital that got cooked, the tanya cooked in nice mm -hmm. coconut milk and in and, and the yaba. And now I'm going to put some of that luscious, fresh coconut, fresh cucumber salad with moringa on there. Like, I'm not going to be greedy because I know we have other people to feed, right? <laughs> Everybody's like, hey. Let me try your stew. You have the red lentils. By the way, a lot of people, it, although it is called red lentil, but when you cook it, it does turn, turn yellow, orange yeah. and stuff. Yeah, but it's really. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff we want. Rich food. Um. To taste on we cooking. Mm. 
Yes, you all did yourself here. Yeah. Mm, thank you. This is how you do it at the bush bar. Mm -hmm. On we cook in. Local. That's right. Mm -hmm. You have everything you need right here. Pretty much everything. Including the firewood to cook the food. Mm -hmm. Mm. Zen. This is so delicious. About 90% of the ingredients that's in here, like you said, apart from the red lentils, you got everything right here. And the onion was store bought. <laughs> that's why I say 90%. I have a little bit of sea salt inside the red lentils, but there's no salt inside the tanyas. No salt cooked in the yabba pot. That's right, because you know if you put salt in a yabba pot, Boom. it busts open. So, hmm. Hmm. Cousin, this is the way we like to eat from the land. All natural, all local. Mm. That's what we cook in Eclectic Vensi Cuisine supports. That's why mm. we're here at the Bush Bar. Mm. Enjoying all this good food. And I know you got some Tulsi boiling for us. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a taste of that after we finish? Yes, sir. I can't tell you thank you enough for having we cook in here at the Bush Bar. We gotta remind folks that they can come here and support you. You have a couple of bungalows yes. that you rent, rent out. out. Mm -hmm. It's very much like camping. We're open from Thursdays through to Sunday it's from two o'clock until. And the and bungalows you have to call to make a reservation or you can find this online. And if you want to do a special party here too, they can do that, yes. right? But they have to call you in advance, yes, right? Call in advance and we'll prep up and have a nice little lime. I mean, this is what a place to do it, huh? Beautiful. Awesome. Thanks again. You're welcome. For this wonderful meal. You're welcome. I'm glad you guys came. I'm really happy. Two islands and keys are waiting to be discovered. Take a look at us now. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Caribbean you're looking for. Our company is the Black Cake Company. We bake and sell traditional Caribbean rum cakes and black cakes. I'm originally from Barbados, and so my grandmother made the cakes, my mom did. We are committed to keeping a family and cultural tradition alive. Beat the holiday rush and use promo code BLACK2014 at blackcake.com to get one free miniature cake with each full-size cake order today. It's a must at every table for every celebration. CK Grace and Company is the number one. Hi guys, welcome back to We Cooking. We're here at Bush Bar and I'm Zen again and I'm making a lovely smoothie. So I have here some lovely ginger and some turmeric. I just pretty much throw stuff in and blend them out all up at once. Got some lovely passion fruit here. This is a great way of uploading on your vitamins. It's a good way to sneak them in for the kids too, they won't even know. And I got a good chunk of frozen mango because we have a lot of mangoes here and I don't want them to spoil so I freeze them up in a Ziploc bag. Also do it with the avocados, the passion fruit and the bananas. A nice chunk there. So these are frozen, you don't have to add ice. Be nice and cold already. And I got a whole load of lovely sweet leaf and moringa. Pop that in there. 
just squish it down there. And I got some lovely guava juice. Just a little bit of brown sugar. And we add this to it. And I'm gonna go and blend this up. Me and Empress gonna go and enjoy this goodness. This will make about four or five cups. And I don't strain it, I just have it just like that with all this goodness in it, all the fiber. So this is my lovely banana, mango, moringa. Oh gosh, so much things in it. Turmeric, ginger, passion fruit, sweet leaf smoothie. Me and the lovely Empress are gonna enjoy. I'm Empress, I'm gonna try some of this loveliness. Everything at the Bush Bar is loveliness. Everything. This is like, give Oops. thanks. Mmm, <laughs> really rich, but it's tasty. And no it sugar is. added. It's nice. You know, really. a little sugar inside the guava juice, but mm. you don't need any sugar with us. I didn't even notice when you said you put sweet. Sweet leaf and moringa. Sweet leaf and moringa. This is really delicious. Yeah, it's a good way to is get it? it in for the kids. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe a bit more Not, banana for the kids. Not only delicious, but nutritious. Very All nutritious. of the ingredients that you saw. I noticed that um, mango is not in season, but you had your supply yeah. of mango. And that's yeah. really, really, really smart to do this. This is the kind of living that we like in St. Vincent in, in the Grenadines. Using everything that yeah. you have, you use the mangoes when it was in season and you froze them, put them away. Bananas right, bananas. Also. So fruits are always available to you folks. Look at your island, look what's here. Abundance, yeah. utilize every local product that you have like my sister Zen is doing. Cheers, <laughs> just love it. This One is love. delicious, one heart. <laughs> I can't tell you what a beautiful day I had here. It's been lovely. And topping it off with your Tulsi. Again, these are the kind of foods that we get for life to give us life. Tulsi is a herb. It's uh, like a basil. Some call it basil, right? Holy basil. Holy basil. Uh, but it's medicinal. You know, it's a very calming, soothing tea. It. What, what do you use it for? Because I use it for cold too, you know? I, I use I, it for soothing it's a good de-stressor after the long day you sip on this calms your mind down yeah and you don't even have to use um sweetener if you don't need to this is we just drinking this as is you know um it's also a good blend you could blend that with your moringa flowers yes. too right so i have it in your salad yeah yes. yeah or pasta it's a nice little yeah minty flavor yeah i've made some pesto with it mm, believe nice, it or not nice. i like to make some pesto but this is um tulsi as we're having it after a nice wonderful meal here at the bush bar with zen um we're going to take a little walk but before we go we'd like to say much much thanks to our hostess for bringing us here at the bush bar and we'd like to thank you our audience for tuning in to we cooking eclectic vinci cuisine this is how we do it. We like to support our local food producers, our local fisher folks, our local business. I'd like to encourage you to continue, eat local, buy local, support local. So this is the bamboo house. Yeah, it's made out of bamboo and firwood. And we built this back in 2009. So it's good reflexology for your feet as you're walking around bare feet. You touch the points, all different points in your feet. There's so much birds up here. Like the hummingbirds just love the, <clears throat> excuse me, the hummingbirds love the ornamental bananas mm -hmm. and the lizards. We hear a few parrots every now and then fly over because no, no hunting goes on up here, not much chemicals. So at night you see loads of fireflies, more than normal because 
Yeah, the cicadas, the crickets, the frogs. You know, in Vinci's history, um, they used to have superheroes, Bat Batman and Frog Woman. Really? In the, yeah, in the wet season, Frog Woman would come out. And in the dry, Batman would rain. I'm Zen and I'd like to say big love to everybody out there. If anybody wants to pass up to the bush bar to come and hang out, we're here from Thursday until Sundays from 2 o'clock until we lime in. Big up. <laughs> <laughs>